Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Car Vlogs. No, uh, my name is Jesse. If you are new here, I do all kinds of lifestyle videos, a lot of vlogs. I talk about personal finance, that kind of stuff. So if that's stuff that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. But <clears throat> today, I'm starting out a week in my life because I've noticed lately that I've struggled with like day in my life. Anyway, I've struggled with day in my lives and weekend in my life and stuff. So I thought that I would try to do a week in my life and see if I am any better at filming. Mm -hmm. I just went and picked up a prescription. It's 11.48. My head is like driving me wild today. I'm not really sure why, but I've been having a lot more headaches lately actually. It's been very annoying. Normally on Mondays I go to the coffee shop, but today I just like wasn't feeling it. I slept in and I just like didn't want to go. So I might try to go on Wednesday instead. Otherwise, I just won't go this week, but because it's hard for me to go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, it's like impossible for me to go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do have to do some work today. I did some this morning. I need to put on some makeup because I'd like to film my April budget, which will be out when you see this video. So I will um, link that in the cards for you if you haven't seen it already. Just like my April budget recap and like what happened. It was not a low spend month like we had hoped. So we've just been going over, I don't know, it's like we got more money and we're like, woo, we can spend money <laughs> and we shouldn't be doing that. So anyway, I mean, we can do that, but like we should be paying off debt and like that kind of stuff, building up our savings. So it is what it is. Today's probably just going to be like a regular work day. I'm trying to think if we what we have going on this week. I think it's just like a normal week in my life. So you'll kind of see what I normally get up to. <laughs> I have this just like today is usually like a work day for me. Tomorrow I have a podcast interview and a client call. Wednesday I might go to the coffee shop if I'm feeling up to it. Thursday is groceries. I am going to Costco this week, so I'll make sure to do a haul of that. And Friday, I might have a doctor I I set up two doctor appointments with two different doctors because I've been having issues with my insurance. I have one appointment this Friday and one appointment next Tuesday. I know that the appointment this Friday will be covered by insurance. The place on Tuesday is where I would prefer to go and they're supposed to be covered by insurance, but they were like very unhelpful on the phone and I do not wanna pay for this appointment out of pocket. I am gonna have to call them like today or tomorrow and get that figured out because if they can't figure out the insurance, then I'm gonna have to go to this other doctor's office, which is like fine. I've been to this doctor, that's a nice Jeep. I've been to this doctor's office before and <clears throat> it's like fine, but it's not great. So anyway, life with chronic illness, trying to find doctors. <laughs> I am grateful that we have like good insurance now though. So it's like my insurance covers a lot. It's just difficult because my husband works for like a remote company or mostly remote company. So like our insurance is different. It's not like it's not like Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. It's like Blue Cross Blue Shield PPO. And they, like the offices have to run it through North Carolina, but they like do not seem to know how to do that. I don't know. But we seem to be the only employees in North Carolina that have this issue, so. friends happy Tuesday um, I'm kind of a bumpy road sorry I am off to the coffee shop today as I was telling you guys yesterday today was supposed to be like a busy day but both of my calls got rescheduled so I was supposed to have a 
call at 10 with my client and she can't make it and then my co-host couldn't make our podcast today at 1 so we might reschedule that to Friday otherwise we might just reschedule that till later in the summer because we're just like so booked out on podcasts. I don't know if any of you podcasts are hard and I've been really struggling with mine the last few years if I want to keep it or not because it's just really hard to it's more than just the interview like you have to like research these people and you have to like edit the podcast, you have to um, make a blog post, put it up, put social media posts up about it, talk about it, all that kind of stuff. And that's like not even, that's just like base level to like keep it going. And we don't make any money on the podcast. So we don't have any money to invest in the podcast to help it grow. I mean, we have quite a few listeners and I'm sure if we spent some time doing some stuff, we could get some sponsors but like it's neither my priority or my co-host's priority and I invited her on because it I just did the podcast by myself for a couple of years and then I invited her to be a co-host and we were both like so excited we were gonna do like Facebook lives and we were gonna do like solo episodes and do all this stuff and then neither of us are doing it and so it just feels like it did a couple years ago when I was thinking about getting rid of it because um, now it just feels like we're doing the same thing just with two hosts instead of one. So I don't know. I'm really struggling. I need to talk to my co-host about it. I'm going to like text her later today. I know she has a lot going on and I have a lot going on, but like if neither of us can prioritize it then I just don't know that it's something we should continue but I also don't want to give it up because I I don't know I'm just like proud of what I did so I don't know that's where we're at today so I'm going to the coffee shop today because I just have well I had time to do it I don't know how long I'm gonna be sitting in this traffic jam I need to like write some stuff I'm just I've really been struggling with getting stuff done lately I don't know why but I've just really been struggling with it and I'm hoping going to the coffee shop will help although I'm not like a hundred percent like sure that it will I'm trying to decide what I want to drink because I don't I haven't been drinking coffee I don't know if I told you guys I like fully gave up coffee so I haven't had it now in a couple like a week or so. Okay, similar to last week, but I got myself a Chipotle bowl and I'm gonna watch some <laughs> YouTube in my car because I think I'm gonna run some errands. Okay, here's a big Costco and Trader Joe's haul. I have not been going to Trader Joe's, so I just got like a bunch of random stuff, but I'll show that to you. Um, I also got these from Trader Joe's, which were kind of expensive for Trader Joe's flowers, but that's okay. So we'll start with Costco. Okay, almond flour wraps, organ protein powder for Ben, pretty much everything from Costco is for Ben. I also got toilet paper and bird seed, which were fairly expensive items. Um, how much? $25 for bird seed, $18 for toilet paper, and $31 for this nasty stuff. But um, PV powder, Ben's been liking that. I got frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries. Impossible burgers. This is Ben's pumpkin seed stuff that he eats. Plantain chips, I got two bags of those. Um, sardines for Ben, pumpkin seeds, and then these rice ramen things. So that's all from Costco, like I said, besides the bird seed and the toilet paper. So $180 worth of crap. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So Trader Joe's, again, I just got random stuff. I didn't even get stuff for meals. 
so this is um, but it'll be meals this week so I got some more of these chicken nuggets just to have on hand they're not gluten free which I should be eating gluten free but um, sometimes I just want a, a fake chicken nugget okay um, I got some tomatoes I don't love Trader Joe's produce very much anymore but I got some gold potatoes I didn't have any organic so just regular same with the blood oranges and lemons I got more of these hash browns because they're just nice to have on hand these are really good not gluten free but they are dairy free and vegan if you cannot eat dairy gluten free waffles to have on hand these are really nice just to have I love this vegan bolognese sauce it reminds me of like a ravioli sauce I used to have when I was younger so I got two of those I got two of these onion salts because I use them for like everything and then a 21 seasoning salute autofocus is struggling there we go um i got another sriracha barbecue sauce i got coconut aminos where we aren't out but i prefer coconut aminos from trader joe's versus other stores these ones i just feel like aren't as salty i don't know if that's true but i got mustard because we'll be out of that soon i got another one of these dill dressings which is really good ben wanted some organic strawberries so i got that um oh, hold on one second on that i got two sunflower seed cups for ben i got two of these again not gluten free but vegan ravioli i love like love love ravioli so got some of that and then so i was showing you before i got these organic carrots and I also got these corn chips because I found this vegan buffalo dip. I love buffalo dip, so I'm kind of excited. I didn't even look to see what's in it. Cauliflower, cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, salt, garlic, red peppers, carrots, pumpkin seeds, sunflower oil, red onions, oat flour, lime juice, water, cilantro, garlic, sea salt. So Ben probably won't eat it because he doesn't eat anything with vinegar in it, but I will. And then I got this vanilla non-dairy like ice cream made with almonds to try and yeah and then just some frozen corn because I like I really like their frozen corn oh, I'm out of breath so that's all that we got there puppos are sleeping I also have half of my bowl left more than half from Trader Joe's I spent $182 at um, whatever the heck place this is, Costco, and I spent $99.80 at Trader Joe's. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to put all this stuff away, especially the frozen stuff, because it's like 90 degrees today. Not even kidding. I'm, that's why I'm breathing heavily, because it was really hot. <laughs> so I'm going to put this stuff away. Hey, friends. Happy, um, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I am, I got my little outfit on, I am making some gluten-free Trader Joe's waffles that I got yesterday for breakfast, well, it's like almost 11, but I, I've just been having like very slow mornings, so I don't think I showed you guys the rest of what was happening last night, honestly. Most of the time at night, I just like relax and like watch, we like watch a show or something. Um, yesterday, I think I watched some YouTube and then I have been reading. I'm like obsessed with my Kindle, it's all I do. Oh, by the way, I had this last night, very good. I ate the whole container by myself, which is not great because that's like 750 calories, but it was very good. Um, would buy again just wouldn't eat the whole package <laughs> that's like the problem with me and ravioli I just feel like it's like not filling so I want more of it because it's like but because it's like filled pasta it's not very good for you <laughs> I'm also gonna have a couple of these like ginormous strawberries look at how big those are they are organic which usually when you get like organic strawberries, they're not giant because strawberries aren't naturally giant and organic is 
like they don't have pesticides or anything on them that's like making them grow bigger but these ones for some reason are huge so i'm gonna cut up a few of these this is a pretty like carb heavy breakfast but honestly i'll probably eat again in the next hour since it's like so late so i'm not that worried about it i just like i'm getting a headache because i haven't eaten yet and i do not have time for a headache today you know but yeah like i said today it's supposed to be really nice out again really hot <laughs> The hotness is setting in. I think for the most part, I'm gonna, I have to get at least one article done today, but I would like to get, these done? Yeah, I would like to get two done. That's my washing machine, if you can hear it. So that's the plan, at least two, hopefully two blocks. I have one, one will probably take me a little bit longer now. Um, and then the other one I did all the research for, so I just need to write it. So it shouldn't take crazy long, hopefully. Although I've just been like slow this week. I don't know, my brain's just like, I think I had like an excruciating migraine over the weekend and it's just like, that's a lot, okay. It's just like totally manhandled me. That is the plan for that. So I'm gonna write today. Um, I might do my hair. We'll see. Um, it's like I said, it's like beautiful outside. I don't know if you can see it. Laundry is so loud. Our washing machine literally like shakes the house. It's crazy. So yeah, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast, get on with writing. I do, I could start some other projects for my other client, but it really just depends. I'm hoping that I can like get through a bunch today. So we will see, but here's my breakfast. Yummo. Hello, it's Friday evening. I'm out in my yard. <laughs> Look at how white my legs are. Okay. It's like seven almost. Ben just run ran to go get me some food. What are you chewing on back there, Cola? Finn, leave her. I did not film yesterday because I was I had like the most terrible migraine and I just like could, I couldn't do anything and honestly today I feel like I was like recuperating from the migraine so I just I really just like worked from the couch most of the day but we actually had storms a little bit ago but and we might get some more this evening I'm hoping we don't but it cut some of the heat outside so it's a little bit cool to be out here in like shorts <laughs> so I don't really think, I look terrible right now, but that's okay. I don't really think we're doing much tonight. It's kind of been like a pretty relaxed week. Let, next week we have a lot more going on. Like just, I have a lot more like calls. I have a doctor appointment, that kind of stuff. So it's just been one of those weeks. What is my hair doing? But I think I'm gonna read my Kindle and i don't know wait until my food gets here i guess i waited a little bit well technically benjamin's been just like working really late lately which i don't love that he's been doing hi <laughs> so he doesn't like get downstairs and anything until like 6 30 and then i decided i wanted food so he went to go get it for me which is really nice but it probably won't, I mean, it'll probably take him at least a half hour, if not 40 minutes there and back. Anyway, these puppos, look at that curly butt. <laughs> I'm just chewing away on sticks. Mm -hmm. 